Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And I just need to say, it is officially spring and I am so excited for it. Hallelujah, I was so ready for spring to come. It's my favorite season. So with that in mind, that is actually going to be the inspiration of today's video. It's gonna be about spring, about florals, about things that are uplifting. That's the theme today. And so we're going to head on over to the thrift store and see what we can find. However, while I'm out, I did order something online and it's supposed to be delivered today. And I'm hoping to be able to use these items in today's video. They are dried florals. And like I said, that delivery is supposed to come over today. So I am going to show you how handy ring is for handling that type of situation when you have a delivery and you're out of the house. And by the way, thank you so much to Ring for partnering with me on today's video. But like I said, I'll tell you a little bit more about them later on. So let's head on over to the thrift store and hopefully we'll be able to find some things that we can transform with that theme of spring in mind. Fingers crossed we'll find some cool stuff. I always drink a glass of water before I go out because I'm paranoid that I will be thirsty when I'm out. So. Drinking water really fast is a talent. <laughs> so off I went to my favorite thrift store at Value Village. I went walking around and looking at all the cool stuff from frames to knickknacks to all sorts of cool stuff that they always have. And I stumbled upon this really pretty floral dish that had elevated edges. It looked handmade, it looked old, and I just loved it. I thought I could give it some new life. And then as I was looking around, I also saw this really cool oval frame and I knew I wanted to get that as well. Okay, so we just finished up with Value Village. We found some cool stuff, which is awesome. And I can also just tell that my package that's supposed to be delivered is just about there. So any second now, it should be delivered. And oh, it's ringing. Okay, so this is my ring doorbell. I can see what's happening at my front door. Hey, how are you? Yeah, you can just go ahead and leave it right at the front door. Okay, I'll leave it down there. Awesome, thank you so much. So they can actually hear me right at my front door and do what I'm telling them to do. If I had wanted them to take the package back to the post office, that's what they would have done as well. But in this instance, it was perfect. I'm just on my way home. So they can just leave it right at my front door. So as you guys know, I live in an apartment and one thing that I really love about Ring is the fact that they have so many different solutions, including video doorbells like the one I have, as well as cameras and alarms, whatever you need to really like suit your situation, chances are they've got you covered. And my solution that I have, it's super, super easy to set up. As you saw earlier, it's really convenient for when I'm out running errands and I need to receive deliveries, but it's also very convenient for when I'm in the middle of a DIY project and I like literally cannot get up because it would be dangerous for me to get up and leave my work situation. But in addition to those conveniences, they just have so many different options that help protect my home. Now, one other cool thing about it is that you can turn on motion detect. So say you live in a house and you want to be notified when someone comes past your door, you can turn that on and it will alert you and then it will start recording what's going on. And through doing that, you can actually capture some really funny moments. Like one of my husband's friends has a video of him completely wiping out as he's trying to come home and it totally caught that and now he has that video just saved. Now as one of my subscribers, you can get a special offer on a Ring video doorbell, which is just what you need to make your home safer today. And if you wanna take advantage of that, you can head right on over to ring.com slash Delia to get your special offer on the Ring video doorbell. And without further ado, back to the DIYs. Okay, so we have that floral plate that has all sorts of pastel -y colors and I'm not exactly sure what I wanna do with it. Like, I think I want it to be neutral but from there, not exactly sure. So I think I'm gonna start off by just spray painting it with ivory chalk paint. I have this favorite color that I love using. So I'm gonna start off with doing that and then we will go from there. Let's give it a coat of paint. So once again, we have my beautiful floral dish and I'm just taking off that price tag and here is my favorite chalk paint. It's in Colonial Ivory and I just gave that dish a really nice coat of it. And after two coats, it was super opaque. 
Okay, so I'm back. It's now ivory and I like it so far, but I'm not sure what to do with it still. I'm thinking I'm gonna maybe do some gold accents, but there's so many different elevated areas that I can't decide whether or not I should put the gold on the rim or on the outlines of all the leaves and flowers or just the leaves or just the flowers or pink and the full flowers or pink and the full leaves. There are so many different options here. So I've decided to mock up a couple different options on my iPad. Okay, so we have a couple different options here. We have an option with the leaves and flowers outlined only. Then we have an option with the leaves actually filled in. Okay. And then we have one more option with just some like half detail work going on, like not all of them filled in and I realize that this picture is really bad. But now that I've spent all this time mocking up these designs, I can for sure just tell you that I still do not know what to do. So I'm going to post on Instagram to see what you guys have to think. Here is just a small sample of some of the answers that I got. And in case you can't read all the details, they are all different. So I'm just gonna start, I'm just gonna start. I'm thinking I'm gonna do the elevated areas and the outsides of the flowers and the leaves, maybe. Let's just get started. Because you know what, this indecision is just typical me and it's bad. <laughs> so let's go. So I grabbed a really pretty acrylic gold paint in Venetian gold. I popped that open, dumped some out in that dish and took a little paintbrush and started adding that paint onto the elevated areas of the flowers. So that is how I started. And then I kind of moved on, so I did one flower and then I added it on to the second flower. You know me, I'm a little bit indecisive, so I wasn't sure exactly what to do. But then as I continued, I was like, okay, I'm going to also add some of this onto the little leaves. And so off I went with an even smaller brush, adding on that gold paint to all the details of one of the leaves and to just the outline of that second leaf. And at that point, I really, really liked how it was looking with the gold paint on just half of the dish. And so that is where I left it. And you guys, now we we have a brand new floral jewelry dish. So I love my new jewelry dish. I think it is so cute and that's what I'm probably going to be using it as. Although I do think it would look really nice as a piece of decor because I've seen plate hangers and I feel like you could attach one onto the back of this and actually hang it on a wall. So I think that would be a really good idea as well. But either way, I love how it turned out and I am super happy that I was able to give this piece some new life. So now moving right along to the beloved oval frame, which I love so much. And I know that I wanna do some dried florals in here. That was my initial idea when I saw this, but then I posted on Instagram asking for some additional ideas. And one of you who's a girl named Kalina, I think that's her name, Kalina. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. Um, but she said, why don't you do some dried florals and that kind of like, you know, sold it to me. I was like, for sure I'm gonna do that then, except I'm gonna do a little twist. It's not gonna be a bouquet of dried florals. It's gonna be something a little bit different that I have in mind and I'm very excited about it. But first I need to figure out how I can take this apart. So let's get on to turning this into something super cool. Okay, so here's a better look at our oval frame and I just love it so much. I'm just starting off with taking out that one staple that's holding in the picture hanging piece. And then once I had that off, I realized something really weird and it is that there are staples holding together the frame and attaching it into that cork piece of the backing. And there's actually a gap where those two pieces come together and are stapled together. I thought this would be like a solid gold frame, but it's not. So I continued along trying to pry out all of the staples using a scraper tool and then some pliers. And then I realized that the material of the frame was so weird. I was not expecting this at all whatsoever. And I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. Also, like, what is this material? Like, I just am so confused by this. Yeah, so like, this came out fully. Still just really confused. Like, this feels like plastic, but it looks so real. And I'm just wondering, what is this stuff? So if you know what this is, please comment it down below because that could change everything. Like, if you could just use this type of material to frame things, like, so good. 
So now that we have all these staples and nails out, why don't we go ahead and start with the next step, which is gonna be covering this guy up. I'm thinking maybe I'll go to Michael's and I'll see what kind of fabric that they have, or I'll see if they have some cool textured paper. So let's get going off to the store. So I also just remembered that I need to get paint when I'm at Michael's, remind me. And yes, I recognize this is probably a quirk of mine, the whole water thing. If anyone else is like me, please let me know down below. <laughs> and I'm very excited because it's a little bit warmer out now, which means I can wear a lighter jacket. That's always a win. So off I went to Michael's and while I was there, I saw the coolest scrapbook paper. I didn't know if I would be able to find what I was looking for, but this stuff was perfect. It's like the perfect little texture that I was looking for. Yay. And then after we got our perfect piece of canvas paper, I went on walking to the fabric paint section and found this really nice puffy paint in black. I'm a star. <laughs> So I'm just opening up my perfect piece of canvas paper and setting that off to the side and then we're going to be adding on a nice coat of acrylic paint in white to the front of the artboard. Now this is because I could tell that the print that was already there is showing through the canvas paper that we have so I'm just going ahead and adding a nice coat and making it all even. Next up, to attach our piece of canvas paper on, I'm just adding some Mod Podge directly onto that artboard front and just pressing down the canvas paper. And then to kind of clean up the edges a bit, I'm just gonna staple down the sides, pulling that taut all around to the back and adding a bunch of staples. You're not gonna be able to see the back, so those staples there are perfectly fine. Okay, so we have the fabric now on there. It's gonna be a nice little background. And the next thing I wanna do is figure out how I'm going to do a drawn out design that looks really good on this piece. And my goal is to have a line art form of a woman and then to use the dried florals kind of to represent her hair. And I just think that would be really, really cute. To do the line art, <laughs> I started off by trying to draw it. The next thing I did was with a Sharpie. I think this still doesn't look the best. So I decided to do a little drawing and procreate on my iPad. I'm gonna take a white piece of paper, I'm gonna turn up the brightness and just trace this out first and then we'll cut it out and use it as a bit of a guide. You see right here, there's like a little dot and that's to represent my little dot. That's mostly just lame, I think, but it's what I did. <laughs> Okay, not bad. This is looking like pretty to scale. So here's a closer look at my digital image as well as my hand-drawn image on paper. And I'm just going ahead and cutting out the paper version and then I'm actually kind of cutting it into pieces. So, so far I've kind of detached the arm section and this is gonna make it easier when I go on to trace it. So I'm just kind of tracing around that and then as you can see, I'm placing just the arm section there and tracing around that. And I'm just continuing that kind of strategy here all over, cutting the little reference image into different sections and tracing around those sections. So we have like the lips and the ear and the jawline and that type of stuff. That's just making it so that it's super, super accurate. Next up, I just grabbed my black puffy paint and I'm going along our pencil drawn outline. And I'm also just using the very tip of the pencil to add in some fine details, like that little dot by my lip, that that was a little bit easier to get some detail work in there and to kind of fix up some of the lines. But I just took my time with that and I really liked how the black puffy paint looked because it added a little bit more dimension to the piece. Good morning. So I have just left this to dry overnight. So the next thing that we're gonna do is actually figure out where we wanna place some dried flowers and attach them on. I ordered mine off of Amazon and they were super affordable. Now you can also just dry your own flowers if you have some wildflowers in the garden or if you have a bouquet that you're not sure what to do with. Let's go ahead and figure out what design we're gonna do on this with the flowers. So these are the flowers that I ordered off of Amazon, which come in a bunch of different colors, and these are the ones specifically that I'm gonna be using. 
So I'm just actually taking a pair of tweezers that came with these flowers and I'm just placing out the base design that I think looks good. And I'm starting out with placing down greeneries and some of the larger flowers to set the base and then adding on the more detailed flowers on top. Once I have my design that I'm happy with, I'm grabbing some Mod Podge, putting some in a dish, and just adding a really light layer onto the back of each of the flower pieces and then grabbing them with the tweezers and placing them down in place. Some of the flowers that have smaller petals make it a little bit harder to work with. They can often rip if you're not careful, but just place them all in place one after another with that glue and you will be good to go. Now one cute little thing that I didn't plan for but I decided to do at the last second was add on this little cutie flower as an earring and I thought it looked so cute, such a nice little touch. To secure all the flowers in place, I'm actually just adding on a coat of Mod Podge on top and that works so well. And then I'm going ahead and reattaching that hanging mechanism that came with it and that's actually going to cover where the two gold seams meet and I'm just attaching it back in the exact way that it came. And just like that you guys we have our brand new dried floral art piece. I mean come on is this not the coolest thing ever? I love this so much and my favorite two things about it are like the little dot which I have right here and the little earring flower I just think that is so cute so you guys it is the moment of truth and I want to know from you guys which of the two projects is your favorite is it the floral jewelry dish or is it the framed floral art piece I think they're both so lovely but as usual I'm gonna share which one's my favorite and I'm gonna have to say it's this guy right here it is so adorable. I just, I'm astonished with myself right here. Thank you so much for watching until this point in the video and I'm going to take a second to please ask you to leave me a like down below if you enjoyed this video because that helps with the YouTube algorithm. And also, if you don't mind subscribing, make sure that your bell notifications are turned on. And then after that, if you're at all interested, please go over and check me out on Instagram. I'm at DIY Dahlia with an underscore at the end. I would appreciate that so much. So thank you so much once again, and I'll see you next week. Bye.